All right, so this is another video of me sharing my thought process in a certain scenario. In this case, we are going to barricade and play more defensive role um, in the in two different buildings. First one's going to be this one here, which is like a car lot. And my original intentions here was to try to extract this money that I have on me um, to the extraction point, which is the piggy bank that you see on my left. Um, but I realized that there's a lot of teams there, and it's a little bit too dangerous for me to uh, try to tackle it out in the open. Um, normally, I would be able to find a bank, but there is no bank anywhere near the vicinity that I'm in, so I'm kind of stuck in a rut. So what I'm going to do is take this guy out who is trying to snipe in on my buddy. It's just me and a buddy of mine who are doing duos in uh, Plunder Blood Money trios. So um, I hear a guy on the roof. I'm going to go check it out top and then finish this guy with my Fennec. I'm running the car 98 alongside the Fennec. And I'm just experimenting with the Fennec at the moment because I'm trying to find another substitute for the MP5. Being the MP5 is getting heavily nerfed. Um, and so Fennec seems to work for now, but I am experimenting between the Fennec and MP7 in this gameplay clip. You're going to be seeing me using the Fennec uh, for a lot of my close quarter engagements. And I'm switching back and forth between my, the Sniper and the Fennec. Um, obviously Sniper for the long range shots when I you see me get up to a more open area. Um, and then when I go in, I'll switch in between the Fennec. Because I do not know what my surroundings is like, so that's why I'm kind of just glancing out on corners. It's not a really good idea to be on top of rooftops when you're exposed like that especially when you have your full body exposed i hear two guys on the ground ground take out my buddy and i take them out <clears throat> um fortunately with the fennec you are able to down people really fast the downside is i believe it, it feels like you don't have enough ammo so i don't have enough ammo to take out a full three player squad um as opposed to like an mp7 with 60 round x um i hear something running around the corner you'll see me uh take him out before he can actually pop off a shot Obviously using sound uh, to my advantage. Now I'm going to be working over to the other side of the building. Uh, kind of get a, a feel of what's going on. And then realize, okay, if I'm going to barricade in here, let's go ahead and start setting up some traps. So I'm going to grab whatever's in the building and use it to my advantage. So a claymore, then I'm going to throw a trophy system down. Uh, just in case there's any incoming explosives, I can try to avoid that in this area that I'm camping. See this guy? Pop him, down him. But my problem was I was too exposed. Um, kind of overexposed in that uh, situation with my body peeking out of the window like that. I did not see exactly where that was coming from. I know that I am down. Usually I would have a self-revive um, as a backup in situations like this, especially if I'm solo, but I do not have one. And he's fairly new, so I'm trying to guide him uh, on how to get, make his way over to me. Um, I don't want to peek or come out of this room because I, I know that there's someone on my left and it'll be too dangerous for me to get my full body exposed. He's able to get to me right on time, uh, perfect revive, and I'm able to save this 380k that I have on me. So as you can tell, people keep calling in that chopper and it's just not a good idea for me to go in because of how heavy and hot that spot is. Um, it's no, a big no, no. risk, so I just need to survive okay, as of right now. My next plan is to try to reposition. Um, I can hear somebody running around. Um, I hear footsteps, so I'll, I look down below me, and there he is. I'm going to drop in on this guy, take him out as quickly as I can, try to get the money out, and then reposition into another building. And the whole thought process of this is I don't want to stay in one building for too long because um, if people keep dropping in the same spot, they kind of take different angles, especially if they're really good players, and that just puts me in a dangerous no. position. Um, that was a missed throw right there for the stun grenade. I don't know what I was thinking there. I just thought I could probably just throw it for a distraction, but um, fortunately that guy had uh, fallen back and gave me a chance to breach the second building. So I'm going to try to deal with him. Um, I do realize now that the stake is much higher now that I have 600k. Start setting up booby traps. Now my goal is to hopefully bait people in to dropping in on me and taking them out. Um, that is, uh, now I'm running around trying to find resources to help me set up so that um, I can catch people if they drop in on me. I'm a huge red marker right now. A lot of money. It should be able to bait uh, some people in. So, <clears throat> finally take this guy out who was on the rooftop. His buddy's dropping in, or I think it's a buddy, so I'm going to take him out as well. Fennec just absolutely shreds close range. I think it's the second, second fastest SMG to kill. Um aside from the mp5 with the 10 millimeter so see this guy's trap 
take that out, looking for some money, trying to get to a mill because um, once I can hit a mill, I can extract this money out automatically and that'll give me some more leeway to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, let's reload this car 98. I, I wanna keep my head, um, keep my head down for the most part. I don't, wanna, I don't want my full body exposed. So me coming out like this is very dangerous. Right now, I'm only doing it because I need to stock up on armor as I'm very low. Here I whiff my shot, I get taken out. Um, that was bad on my part, and I call on for some help. Fortunately, uh, Chudo is there to take care of him and pull off another revive. So having teammates is always a big plus. Um, the only downside of having teammates is if you get fully wiped, it'll just completely spawn you on a different part of the map. Um, if you run um, tack insert as a field upgrade, you can keep spawning in the same spot um, when you're in groups and not have to worry about being fully team wiped and getting tossed on the other side of the map. Now you see me looking at the wall there with the laser. Um, I assume that someone's gonna drop down on me, but I um, keep my focus on the wall so they can't see the laser. So um, a great thing with attack lasers, you have incredible aim stability and aimed outside speed, um, but the draw back is the fact that people can see your laser. So I wanna keep my aim away from the view of enemy. So see that guy pop up like a gopher and just get him with the car 98 take out his booby trap try to get this money see how much money he's got see that trap he just laid down if you just go into prone when you set that off you can avoid that damage there and that's for a lot of people who are new who don't know that um, a good way to catch people if you throw those on uh, staircases it's a really good way to get full damage and then not being able to avoid it so that's usually where i would toss mines like that um, claymores you can set up in just different areas of the map um, but uh, as you see, my buddy just got taken out. I wanted to rescue him, but it's a very high risk as of right now. Right now I'm being hunted as a three star or three bar threat. So that means the enemies are within the vicinity and I have 900K. I need to hit a mill before I can actually switch to aggressive mode. So I'm a little bit cautious of coming out like here, um, especially with my head peeked out. I do have some sort of cover because I've, I'm at a higher elevation than anything else, so nobody can't be on it like a hilltop or another higher building to snipe down, down on me. So um, it allows me to be a little bit more adventurous, especially running around with this much money on me. So setting up another booby trap, I'm in a different part of the building. Um, obviously reposition is a great thing. I'm gonna keep moving side to side, strafing, just in case someone um, bomb rushes upstairs or drops in down below. Um, I can avoid any sort of incoming damage as opposed to me just standing still and being a complete target for them. So just keeping my body moving side to side, um, peeking, just uh, kind of get an idea. Okay, well, if someone comes up, um, I can get this angle, I can catch this angle. As I strafe side to side, I want to keep myself in hip fire because as I scope in, they can see the laser. Anyone can see it coming up the ladder. And I don't want them to know that I'm exactly right there as they come up the staircase. So. Um, if I keep myself hit fire, it keeps me more invisible. Um, I let my buddy who is on top of the roof as sort of a distraction also. I don't know what's going on outside, so he's gonna relay information on what my surroundings like. I see the red marker pop up on the minimap, thanks to Mr. Trudeau. I'm gonna come up, turn around 180, and drop him. So I'm gonna get this guy up and uh, peek over again to see what my surroundings are like. Push in, try to get this mill. I'm hoping this is enough. Fortunately, it's not. All right, so I don't know where the second marker went, so I believe he went downstairs. I see one pop up on the minimap. That's a cross that's in the building that we were just in. Someone else dropped in? Yeah. He ran around, grabbed this guy. I know this. I noticed that I'm out of armor, so I need to grab some more armor, restock. Um, that's always a big thing. Finally hit a mill. Now I can be a little bit more adventurous. I see teammates uh, of the enemy are trying to drop back in. Drop back down. Thinking this guy's going to take the bait. I'm just going to wait. I think my problem was I probably set those claymores up a little too close to the staircase. So they can see it if they're looking down. Um, so that was probably the reason why nobody dropped down. I've also moved my laser to the right side to keep it out of view. Uh, a line of sight for anybody who uh, might be lingering above. I heard a lot of some gunfire. More people are dropping in, coming up. I'm getting these guys. Let's grab this uh, stopping power here. People are firing down below. I don't know where that's at. I'm going to try to take a peek 
game is over. So um, that was a risk for me. Um, I wanted to try to take more of a defensive style where I wait for the enemy to come into the traps that I had. Um, and unfortunately, it didn't work out the way I had hoped it planned. Nonetheless, um, that's just a, a, an idea of how to tackle on playing uh, defensive, turtling up into buildings. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and leave a like. I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.